I've sucked many tits in my life. But I'm not talking about the tits of women. Well, not just that. <laughs> but I'm talking about the tits of our society. Now think about it. What does a baby love the most? The baby loves sucking the breast. It loves sucking the milk. The baby's so content. It's getting that nourishment. That enrichment. It's getting that flavor that it needs. It, it's getting that sustenance that it needs. And the baby will just suck that milk until it's sated and then just pass out. <clears throat> and we too are sucking a lot of tits we're sucking the tits of television the tits of racism jealousy anxiety popularity notoriety becoming famous becoming rich Christianity Buddhism Hinduism Muslim, Sufism. We're sucking the tits of organizations, of institutions, degrees, certifications, universities, ingratiating ourselves within certain groups, within certain sects, within certain sectors, within the church, within an infinite amount of tits we are sucking. We suck these tits because it makes us feel good, powerful, all-knowing, accepted, being a part of something. Ten years goes by, twenty years goes by, thirty years goes by, forty years goes by, and we're still sucking those tits. We're still sucking that nourishment. All the while, those tits are the ones that are the, the ones who are providing the milk, the actual things that we're sucking, these institutions, they're the ones getting stronger. They're the ones getting richer. They're the ones getting more famous. They're the ones getting more power. They're the ones having more of a controlling scope or grasp over us. But yet we continue to suck those tits because they give us a little milk and nourish us and make us feel good. They make us have that chemical reaction in our brains that make us feel oh so good, so so happy. But we're, we continue to suck these tits over and over and over again. To our own detriment, no progress is being made. Think about the person who would love to get rich. Think about the person who would love to buy a house for their family one day or get out of this economic crisis that they're in. And yet they continue to watch TV all day long. TV all day long, TV all day long. One day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, another day, three weeks, a month. Years go by, this person is watching television. And everybody on television is rich, right? That's what makes them be on television. They're rich, they're famous. And this is the person in their mind who wants to get rich or who wants to get famous or who wants to be able to provide for their family. And how ironic is it that he spends all day long watching people who are already rich on the television, just sitting down while he's doing nothing. He's sucking that tit of the television. We have these people who want to find God. You know, they want God. They want to find God so badly. So they suck the tits of the books. They buy all the books they could buy on spirituality. And they just suck the tits, suck the tits, suck the tits of these books. They go to Borders. They go to Barnes and Nobles. And they buy the most fancy books they could buy on spirituality. You got people who want to be speakers, but what do they do all day? They just study speakers. 
They go onto YouTube and just study speakers or read books on how to become a speaker. How do I improve my presentation skills? Yet they're not actually speaking. They're just sucking the tits of how to become a speaker. You see what happens? We're just sucking the tits, sucking these tits, sucking the tits, sucking the milk out of it. And the milk is giving us some nourishment. So we continue to suck it and we become, for lack of a better word, addicted. No, that is the best word. Addicted to the milk. And we lose track of the original purpose. We lose track of the initiative, which was to become that or to realize that we are that. But the milk gets in the way because the milk is a drug. The milk is a is a falsehood that's perpetuated the longer we suck it, the longer we continue to drink it. And we become so tightly tethered to the tit that we can't get our fucking mouths off of it. We can't gain any separation. We can't push that titty away, get that titty out of my face, and get on with their lives and actually do something. What we really have to learn how to do is suck our own tits. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We gotta learn how to suck our own tits. Seriously. Stop sucking everybody else's tits. Suck your own titties. <laughs> you have to learn how to suck your own tits. I'm serious here. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. <laughs> it sounds funny, I know. <laughs> well, that's the only way, guys. You have to suck your own damn titties. You gotta provide your own milk, your own nourishment. You gotta give yourself those nutrients. You're not a baby anymore. Stop acting like a fucking baby. And stop sucking everybody's tits. Stop sucking up to everybody. Stop sucking up to your boss. Stop going to every job that you hate just to make money. Stop joining some fucking church because your mom and dad and aunt and uncle want you to do it. Stop dating some girl, some guy, because, you know, you've been destined to date them and, and have babies with them and marry them and get the white picket fence. Stop all that shit. Stop staying in your hometown if you want to travel and go somewhere. You know, stop fucking bullshitting and reading about learning a language and just go and learn that shit. Stop dreaming about things and start doing them. This is what it means to, to, to push that fucking titty out of your face and go about your life. But we've become, we've become infantilized. We've remained as the child, not in the sense of what Jesus talks about, to become the child again, but in more of the literal sense that we've never grown up. And we've become content with sucking the milk of every other titty other than ourselves because it's easier to go out and latch onto some titty and someone's like, here, suck my titty. You know what I mean? Come suck my titty. I'll give you all the milk you need. Forget about your own intelligence. Forget about your own wisdom. Forget about your own uh, self-direction. Forget about your own internal compass. Forget about your own dreams. Forget about your own power. Shut the fuck up and suck my titty for the rest of your life. And then when you're 60 years old, maybe that's when you'll wisen up and you'll be like, God damn, I've been sucking the titty of the society for 40 years. What happened to the last 40 years of my life? Especially you 20-year-olds out there, 20-somethings, such as myself. This is the time of your life, this decade, where it's imperative that you get those titties out of your face. Get those titties out of your face and start, as Steve Jobs said, tribute to Steve Jobs, 
that you got to make your carve, carve out a niche into this earth, leave an impression. That's why we're here. We're not here to skate on ice. We're here to break through the ice. We're not here to be quiet or to be controlled or to be pushed around. We're here to make an impression first and foremost on ourselves and that impression will reverberate throughout the world. Change yourself. Take control of yourself and that very act alone is the greatest revolution that you could ever be a part of. You could have a flower in the middle of a room and you may say that flower does nothing. That flower has no reach. That flower has no scope. But then I will say you're wrong because couldn't you smell that flower even if it's across the room? And that smell will just make you feel happy. It'll make you feel good. That fragrance. When you get that titty out of your face, your very essence will emit a fragrance of revolution. It'll emit a fragrance of power. And you'll inspire the world. That's the number one way to inspire the world. Inspire yourself first. But the first thing you need to do is get those titties out of your face. And get that falsehood out of your life. Take control of your life. Take the reins back.